Hey there boys and girls of the YouTube world. Today Duff Dog and I are going to show you the difference between early Ford frames. That's right, everything from 1928 through 1948, roughly. So start with the Model A, which was four cylinders, and then 32 to 34 you get four cylinders. 41 pickups you could get a four cylinder. But basically V8 stuff. So let's get started. Duff, are you not enthusiastic about chassis identification on the early Fords? This is stuff you should need to know. So this right here is a 29 Ford chassis. I guess if you got wheels on them, the easy way to identify them is wire wheels. The early Model A's started with the biggest wheel, which is a 21 inch wire. So on the 28.9 cars. The 3031's have a 19 inch wire. 32 Fords have a one year only 18 inch wire wheel. 33 and 34's, so two years, have 17 inch wire wheels. And then 35 has a one year only wire wheel, which is a 16 inch wire wheel. And there's a couple of different 16's. There's a Kelsey Hayes bent spoke. And then there's a 35 Ford 16 inch straight spoke, which is just your regular Ford wheel. The 35 bent spoke Kelsey Hayes are pretty desirable. So that's so what you look for is see if they're straight like these, or they got that little bend in them at the end. And then everything from 36 to 39 was wide five. So I had a, the great big perimeter bolt pattern. These are five on five and a half, same as later Ford pickups. And then Ford cars from 40 to 48 had a five on five and a half as well. 49, when they went to independent suspension, they also went to a four and a half inch bolt pattern, which they pretty much maintained all the way through the 90s and I think even the end of the Crown Vicks in 2011 or whenever they quit those, those are actually a four and a half inch bolt pattern or the metric equivalent. So that's one way to look at them is wheels, but usually the wheels are swapped out. Oh, and also in 40, after they got done with the wide five, those are a 16 inch steel wheel, which is what they use through 48 as well. And then they use those on pickups. And then the F100s, I believe in like 57, they went to a five on five and a half bolt pattern on pickups. Well, they always had it on pickups, but then they went to a 15 inch wheel that'll accept the early Ford cap. So they're kind of a sought after wheel if you want to run 15s on your early Ford. We're just talking about straight axle cars. So we're just going up to 48. So like I said, this is a 28 Model A chassis. Easy way to tell a Model A by looking at it is, is just the height of the frame. It's a lot narrower. And then how straight it is at that first cross member back there behind the transmission, it kind of dips out a little bit, but otherwise it's straight. All the early Fords with the straight axles have a transverse leaf other than the 42 to 47 pickups. On the back, they have parallel leafs. I believe they're parallel leafs on the front too. So pickups up till 41 had transverse leafs like this and then 42 they had parallels steering pretty much stayed the same from 28 to 34 which has got this drag link like this that runs parallel with the wheels 35 they went to a cross steer so that's another thing to watch so if the spindle if they got the spindle and it's got a hook here for your drag link or your pitman arm whatever you want to call it your steering that means it's a 28 to 34 but if it's got cross steer so that it's got two nubs on the spindle over there, that means it's a 35 to 48. So there is some differences in the front axles with uh, the drop that's built into them. Yeah, different things like that. We're not gonna talk about axles too much here. We're just kind of talking about the frames and how to easy, I easily identify them. Oh, now you're interested, come on. So 28 to 34 is a spring over axle like this where the spring is directly over the axle yeah you show them and then 35 and newer is a spring in front of the axle i'll show you those a little bit later and then so on those 28 to 34s you'll see the brake pivot rod geometry mount bracket and such is built right into this um, spring mount right there and that's got your shackle and everything else Model A has got mechanical brakes. Mechanical brakes were from 28 to 38. So if you see this rod here, that's for your brake rod. And then the, if the spindles are square, those are 28 to 36. 
brown spindles from 37 to 41. So instead of being flat here, they're round right there. They're a little bit more desirable. They're probably the most desirable, 37 to 41. And then the 42 to 48s are kind of square back, like kind of like this. They call them a square back instead of a round back. Those are also pretty desirable. They work with hydraulic brakes. And that's, of course, what everybody wants is hydraulic brakes, which came out in 39. Another quick way to identify what year your frame is, usually right here by the steering box, I probably can't find it on this one, is a VIN, which is stamped. It starts with a star, and then usually on the V8 cars, so 32 on up, unless it's a Model B or Model C, it'll say 1-8- and then six or seven digits, depending on what year it's made. You can look that number up if you can find it, and that will tell you what year the car is. And even on some of the Model A's, they break it down by month. So look at that serial number if you got question on exactly what year it is. But so like I said, this is a Model A frame. Quick and easy way to tell the Model A is, is like I said, the frame rails are straight. Cross member is ex pretty much straight as well. It's just like an upside down C channel. There's no X member in it. It's just that center cross member. Another thing to note is the rear cross member is straight across, but it's got this pretty good size arch that goes up in the middle for that big tall spring that arches up there. The rear end is also a spring over rear end. The 28th was basically the first year of the banjo rear end. Can't really see it there, but the center chunk looks like a banjo. And the Model A wishbones bolt to the end of the axle housing with this kind of yoke looking thing that you see here. And then the spring mount mounts above the rear axle, same as the front, and that's cast into the axle housing ends. So that pretty much is a Model A. There's some slight differences on the early 28s I know and then there's a few running changes throughout the years but basically a 28 to 31 frame will fit under every Model A whether it's coupe, sedan, pickup, roadster, phaeton, so on and so forth. So after the Model A came out the Model B as everybody calls it or the 32 Ford. The dead giveaway on a 32 Ford is they got this reveal right here right at the bottom of the frame rail. That's what makes these the sexiest frames Ford ever made. The other thing is the frames kind of V in at the front. This one's got a little tweak. Never mind that. But they also got a big swoop up at the back. Kind of a kick built into it. Where the Model A's were basically straight from front to back. So that's your dead giveaway on a 32. And the other thing on a 32 is, instead of just a straight across cross member, they came out with a K member in 32. It's got these little legs up front. And that's pretty much kind of your dead giveaways on a 32. The other thing is the rear cross members in 32, instead of going up, they started dipping down like this. And you notice they're not perfectly straight. They kind of pinch in at the middle. It's basically straight across, but it starts out wider at the back and then pinches down. And then in 34, they basically went to a full on cross member, but the legs are shorter at the front and longer at the rear. And then they're pretty wide right here in the center of the cross member. I'll show you how wide they are on these and then 35 on up, they narrow down a bit. And then the rear cross member on a 34 is pretty much straight at the back, 33 and 34. And then it's kind of tapers in at the front and tapers back out, but it's pretty much straight across on the back side. But it still kind of drops down. It doesn't arch up like a Model A. So cross members are the big differences. A's are straight, 32's got the K. 33s and 4s, got the long legs at the back, short legs at the front, and then you'll see a 35 to 40 shortly, and they're pretty much symmetrical. So here's a 33, 34 axle. You see that it's got the steering arm that comes straight off on the driver's side as opposed to a cross steer, but we're going to see on a 35 to 40 shortly. And then it's got the spring over axle on the front, just like that. Again, still has mechanical brakes and the square looking spindles, even though they're slightly different than a Model A. So this is a 36 frame. You can see the cross member, how the legs are about equal length in the back as they are in the front. It's got these supports that go between the frame rail and the cross member, and then how tight it gets right around the drive shaft in the middle. 33s and 4s are quite a bit wider. And then 35 and 36, the rear wishbones bolt to the axle tube in a little ways from the end of the axle tube housing. And they've got the spring mount built into them. 
and then the spring mount is behind the axle as opposed to being straight over it like a Model A. Again, the 35 to 40 cross members are pretty much straight across, but they're wider on the outside and then tapered down in the middle. And they've got a pretty big drop to them, probably the biggest of all of these frames. They drop down quite a bit in the middle. And then 35 to 38, you're all gonna have mechanical brakes like this. I think 35 and six are mechanical, like so, and then 37 and 38 are a cable. They don't have the rods, they just have a cable. And then 39, they came out with the hydraulic juice brakes. That's what everybody wants. These are kind of the desirable wishbones because then you can put these on like a Ford 9 inch or an early Olds rear end or whatever kind of rear end you want to stick in your car. And then you can mount your rear end that way. Plus you get your spring mounts built into those wishbones as well. This is a 36, you can tell because it's got the wide five bolt pattern on it. And then you'll also see the front wishbones, how they come over the axle and then it's a spring in front of the axle instead of being a spring over the axle like you've had from 28 to 34 and 35, they started going spring in front of the axle. These front wishbones vary slightly from year to year, but they do all interchange from 35 to 40, I believe. And you can see our spindles here are still square. We've got our mechanical brakes, but we don't have our steering shafts coming off the top of the spindle anymore. Instead, we've got cross steer that comes over to this passenger side. So you got your drag link that hooks up right here, or your drag link here, and then your, I don't know, pitman arm, whatever, steering arm hooks up there. So 35 was the first year of the cross steer. 35 to 40 frames are all pretty much the same. One thing to look for to try to tell exactly what it is, is your brake pedal mounts. So like I said, 35 to 38 are all mechanical and then 39s and 40s and then 41 pickups are gonna have hydraulic pedals in there. So if your pedals are still there, that'll be one dead giveaway. And then you can tell this one's got all the mechanical linkage and the rods. So this is clearly a 38 and older frame. And again, if you clean up right here by the steering box, you can actually see it on this one. It starts with star 18 dash. You can look that number up on Van Pelts and that'll tell you exactly what year it is. Another quick note on these. See how that cross member comes into the outer rail and they come together and they double up? Well, Russ likes to sit in there in dirt and rot out your frame rails. And it's always right in that kick. Usually is more so on the passenger side and the driver's side. You can see it's pitting out here a little bit on the driver's side as well. And then where the body sat on top of the frame, they're usually pretty pitted up on top because all that moisture and dust sat between the body and the frame, rusting them out. There's also some different shocks over the years. These are a hydraulic shock. These are built by Delco. And then you've got your lever arm shocks, which is basically just a friction shock. You can see the, on the inside of that frame over there. And there's your 16 inch 35 forward wire wheel. You can see how the spokes are straight. That's a 16 inch. Again, the wide fives are all 16 inch as well. For the most part, there's some aftermarket jumbo wheels and such. I don't have any 37 to 41 frames available, but here's the round back spindles like I was talking about that 37 to 40 ones have. You can see how they're round on the edges here. That's probably the most desirable spindle in my opinion. Then you see how it's got the wheel cylinder up here for your hydraulic brakes that came out in 39. This is an actual 40 setup. It's got the cross steer as well. The way you can tell that it's a 40 and not a 39 is it's got the five on five and a half bolt pattern. Again, 16 inch steel wheel. This is my cool little engine stand that came in the 283. This is a 42 frame. I'm not really familiar with these, but 42 to 48 are all pretty similar, near as I can tell. What nice thing about these is the way the cross member comes in, the way they're boxed, it's way on the outside here, so the dirt isn't pinched tight against this outside rail so they don't rot out as bad. You do find tube shocks on these. Occasionally, on the early ones as well, I believe these are add-on tube shocks as well, so that's something to look for. That's a nice piece to have. They still have the spring mounted behind the axle, but the spring mounts are cast into the ends of the axle housings. You can see there, and then the wishbone bolts to the front. And there's our hydraulic pedals. You get your brake pedal and your clutch pedal here. It ties right into your transmission, and then it's got the same reservoir 
or master cylinder basically from 39 to 48 just a single reservoir cast iron cylinder one other thing to note is if you do have a speedometer gear on your enclosed drive shaft on these it should say the gear count on these and that'll usually tell you what gear ratio they have so if you have like a 9 and 36 that's a 411 and then i believe they made a 378 and i think super rare is like a 354 don't quote me on that and these are 41 to 48 drums they've got the wheel hub on the outside of the drum as opposed to the 40s where this hub is mounted on the inside of the drum clean some of this snow out of the way duff you're not helping we're not looking at model a frames we're looking at 42s and you can see in 42 they went to this square back spindle as is shown there They're a little less desirable but they work just fine the other thing that's a little bit different about these later ones is the front cross member has got this swoop kind of built into it a drop kind of built in some guys like it, it gives them a little extra drop other guys don't really like it they kind of look neat they're different anyway and then again these are a spring in front of the axle mount where it's built right into the front cross member this car's got a sway bar on it you see that on some of the later ones as well and if you do have one of these cars in its stock 40 and newer is going to have a column shift so it'll be a side loader like this it's synchronized 39 on down is going to be a top shift late 38 and 39s are going to be synchronized with the top loader but again these cars are 80 years old so who knows if that stuff's still going to be the same or somebody swapped it out for synchronized or vice versa so here's a 40 brake drum you can tell that because it's hydraulic brakes on the back side here you can see it wheel cylinder up top and then it's the five on five and a half and then the hub is built onto the insides of the brake drum and then these studs are swedged in there why are you excited about 40 brakes yeah these are probably the desirable ones is what i would say because 40 is kind of a one year only deal where you get the five on five and a half you get the round back spindles and then you get the brake drums where the hub is mounted on the inside looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion even though it really is never seen unless the wheels off the car but guys like those later ones if you're doing like a 45 fin buick aluminum drum there you have it that's just kind of a quick rundown about what duff dog and i know about early ford frames so 28 to 48 and such appreciate it thanks for watching if you like a video like this leave a comment down below tell me what else you want to see you want to see more ford stuff chevy stuff you just want to see duff and i walk around in the junk and do shenanigans let's wait till it's warmer out because it's like only 10 below today really not that bad maybe it's up to five you can tell it's cold tech tip of the day when you can hear the snow squeak below your feet that's so you know it's cold it's like cheese curds in wisconsin when they squeak between your teeth that's when you know it's cold thanks for watching everybody remember you better already get it done as long as you're having fun standing around the cold out here is not fun let's go inside duff and have a sandwich ramp truck siding just waiting for spring Ooh, new fuel cell.